that very first marketing campaign that I did, I had such high hopes. Now you probably know where that's where this is going. I had such high hopes about that marketing campaign. I carefully selected the words I was going to use in my sales letter. I carefully selected where I was going to advertise. Uh, I carefully uh, determined what my offer was going to be. I had, um, back then this was uh, something I did by mail, so I had a, a, a nice place for the orders to arrive and I just anticipated I would have a flood of, or of orders. And that isn't what happened. What happened instead is I, uh, nothing happened for a long time. And then after several weeks, one, maybe two orders trickled in. Now, when I thought about that back then, I was really disappointed because I thought that I had figured it all out and I was going to get a flood of orders. What I didn't realize back then is that that campaign was successful. It was successful because I got someone to respond. And in fact, I got a, a small number to respond, but it demonstrated that I had something that was worth responding to. So if your marketing is not working, the first thing you have to ask yourself is, is it not working or do I have the wrong expectations? Because if you're getting some response, even if it's just one response, that is an indication that you're doing something right. Now you have to go to work and figure out how to tweak this, how to make it better, how to improve it, and how to do those things that will result in bigger orders coming in. Today everything is done primarily digitally. I mean, there's some people that certainly still do direct mail and they do telemarketing and use other methods to, to drive orders. But you might think that because you're marketing digitally and there's so many people online and you're using Facebook, whatever you're using, that you're just gonna get a flood of orders. Well, the first thing you have to understand is rarely does the first thing you do work. That's something I learned over many years, that when you try something marketing-wise, usually it doesn't work the first time because there's something that isn't quite right. Maybe you sent it at the wrong time. Maybe your, your messaging was not clear. Maybe the name of your brand or website or whatever it is you offer is not that compelling. Maybe you sent it on a bad day. Maybe you sent it to the wrong audience. So that's the, the, the first thing you have to do is after realizing that it doesn't really work the first time is you have to start looking at these elements. Is the audience right? Is the message right? Are you using the right channel? Maybe this isn't something you should be sending via Facebook. Maybe it's something you should do via Instagram. Maybe it's a LinkedIn offer. Maybe it's something that should be done a completely different way. Uh, in marketing, we have so many tools and opportunities that you have to figure out, well, what's the right way to send this particular message? Now, here's a trick. It might turn out that a message that will ultimately win using a certain media will not initially do so. And that's because you have to prime the pump, if you will. You have to get some clients any way you can, some orders any way you can, to really understand how it is that the market's gonna to respond to you. So a lot of times, those orders will come as a result of your email marketing campaign, your, your uh, mailing list, people you know, and, and as a result of that, you're going to hear things that will enable you to hone your message, enable you to understand the right time, timing, and understand the right target. Who is it that's going to buy this, this product or service? Now, after you've accepted that it doesn't work the first time, and you've accepted that you have to troubleshoot, if you will, and figure out, is the audience right? Is the message right? And so forth. 
The next thing to understand is even if you have everything right, you need frequency because the more people hear a message, the more they understand it, the more they are compelled to act on it. And frankly, it isn't until they've heard it several times, sometimes seven, eight, nine, ten times before they even realize what the message is. In the days of magazine subscriptions, when those businesses were booming, it was understood that in order to get someone to renew a subscription, you might have to communicate with them nine, ten, eleven, twelve different times. Now, th these are people who are already getting the magazine, are already aware of the value, have already signed up for it, but they have to be reminded, which means that you start marketing to them very early, long before it expires. So how does that relate to you and your message and what you have to offer? Are you doing it frequent enough? Is it a message that you are repeatedly offering? I love the uh, pharmaceutical ads, not because I like what they say, but I like the fact that they just hammer over and over and over again. You find yourself singing these songs for these medications that are, you know, deadly. But you get into the message and you forget that they're selling pills. You forget that the side effects are deadly. Well, it's frequency. Every evening and all throughout the day, frankly, they're sending their messages so that you will go to your doctor and say, well, what about this or what about that or what about the other? The other thing they're doing is they're normalizing the idea of taking medication so that when the doctor prescribes something to you, you're no longer thinking, no, 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 I don't want to do that. I don't think I'm ready for that. You accept it and you accept that this is probably the way to solve your health problem or to prevent a health problem. So frequency is very important and the pharmaceutical companies have, have understood that. Now the other thing you have to really work on is, is your message resonating? Is it a hit? You know, there are um, messages that people will start to um, uh, repeat and it's because something about it resonates. Something about it rings in their ear. And it's the kind of thing that they will um, want to uh, repeat, sing along, play around with. It'll get their attention. You know, in the old days of advertising, I say old, you know, decades ago, that was really the focus more so than anything else. It was coming up with a line that a character could say in a commercial, uh, a jingle, um, some kind of element that would stick in someone's mind. They couldn't get it out of their mind. Well, that still applies. Is there something you can do, something you can say? Is there music that you can use that a person just can't get out of their mind? So if your marketing is not working, it's probably because you don't fully understand all these issues and you're not really um, implementing all of these things or troubleshooting what's going wrong with the things that you're currently doing. You know, the last thing, of course, is you have to have confidence in what you're doing. You have to have confidence in it, and that confidence will give you the ability to stick it out and to, and to uh, make it work as a result of commitment to it. So the first thing to remember is that your marketing doesn't work the first time you do it. So expect that you're not going to get a flood of orders. It's not going to be a, a record breaker the first time you do it. There's something you have to tweak. But if you get a response, any response, even if people say, you know, I, I can't take advantage of this, but I really like what you're doing, that's a good sign. That's a sign that you're cutting through, that the messaging is working, and now you have to go to work on these other elements. The second piece is looking at the elements of your marketing um, campaign, your, ma your, your marketing formula. You know, is the audience right? 
is the message right? Are you using the right vehicle? That's the next piece of it. The third piece is understanding that you have to have frequency. You are not going to um, uh, have a tremendous success unless you can commit to frequency in what you're doing. The fourth thing is to make sure that you have a message, uh, music, imagery, or something that really resonates with your audience. And then the next thing is you have to have commitment. You have to have commitment to it and you have to be willing to um, go for it long term and understand that you're going to have to change things, you're going to have to modify things, but you have to give your marketing time to have the impact that it can. If you like this tip, let me know. Give me a thumbs up. Let me know you liked it. Share it with someone in your network. Are you subscribed to my channel? I always say you have to subscribe to my channel because I have a lot more here. Please make sure you subscribe and make sure that other people you know subscribe because there's a lot of great information here that people can put to work right away to have more success in their business, in their sales territory, in their practice, in whatever endeavor you're involved in. I look forward to sharing more with you and I'll see you next time.